Hello movie fans and welcome to Lost in the Real. Today I'm going to be talking about Neon's new psychosexual drama, Sanctuary. With any film in this genre, does it provide the necessary chemistry between its actors and twists and turns to make it worth watching? Let's talk about it. <laughs> Sanctuary stars Christopher Abbott as Hal, the heir of a multi-million dollar hotel empire who is taking over his late father as CEO. Enter Margaret Qualley's Rebecca, his dominatrix who spends her sessions reading Hal's self-deprecating scripts to get him off. But things take a twisted turn when Hal decides that this will be their last session together, setting off a string of events that will prove who is actually in control. Going into director Zachary Wiggins' second feature film, I knew absolutely nothing about the plot, and only that it starred Christopher Abbott and Margaret Qualley, who I believe are two of the most exciting up-and-coming young performers working today. Abbott, whose puppy dog-like features got him started in a supporting role in HBO's Girls, has shown that he is an expert in choosing exciting indie projects. From On the Count of Three, Possessor, Black Bear, and Vox Lux, to one of my personal favorite movies of the past decade, James White. Every film that the star shows up in is a project worth discovering. And then there's the daughter of Andy McDowell, Margaret Qualley, who burst out on the scene in the Leftovers and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, but left a huge lasting impact on me in her performance in Netflix's Made. So here we have Sanctuary, a movie that quite literally is filmed in one location for 99% of the movie, and it stars only these two actors nobody else. And luckily, these two have such goosebump-inducing chemistry that they propel this small indie film into greatness. They both exude at different points in this movie vulnerability and weakness, and in others, wickedness and unpredictability. The power plays going on between the two of them create some of the most enticing sparring of dialogue you'll see in cinema all year. It also helps that the screenplay by Micah Bloomberg is extraordinary in so many ways. He is able to push and pull the audience in so many different directions without making you feel like you're getting whiplash. His script explores gender dynamics, the powers of control, the art of letting go, and the intense nature of humans to discover their purpose and identity. It is such a layered and heavy piece of work Yet it also revels in dark humor and shocking twists and turns, so that it also feels devilishly fun to watch unfold. Though I absolutely love a good chamber piece, we were so inundated with them during the constraints of the pandemic that I found myself tiring of the format. But director Wigan and his cinematographer Ludovica Isidori are able to bring this hotel suite and their film to life with the camera. Every shot feels full of intent as it lingers, pans, and zooms to create an intoxicating yet claustrophobic environment. You feel at once like you want to look away in unnerved disgust, but also like you are hanging on every word these characters utter that you must endure the discomfort. The ending of Sanctuary is certainly going to be divisive. It's a finale that does feel earned, but also a tad bit cutesy for such a nasty and demented piece of work. It's one that didn't quite work for me immediately, but the more that I've simmered on it, it's settled well. One thing is for sure though, you will not see any of these narrative reveals coming. 
Netflix has their new film Fair Play, starring Bridgerton's Phoebe Dinover and Solo's Alden Ehrenreich coming out soon, which I was lucky enough to see at Sundance. It's another psychosexual dramatic thriller that similarly concentrates just as much on the psychology of relationships as it does the sex and soapy thrills. With these two outstanding movies, it feels like this genre that has been dead in the water this past day decade is finally being resuscitated back to life. And honestly, I am so here for it. Thank you so much for watching Lost in the Real. What are your thoughts on Sanctuary? What is your favorite erotic thriller or psychosexual drama? Sound off in the comment section down below. And until next time, my friends, take care.